Hey, this is Jeff at Miller's RV. I'm here today to give you a quick walkthrough at the Winnebago Travada 59G. Hey, before we get started, do me a favor, please like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell. That way you'll know any new video content we come out with. And also, if you have a comment, put it below. We wanna hear back from you. If you've got questions you want answered, we wanna answer them. So put it down below and our marketing millennial TJ will get back to you on those. We'll do a video for you and ask the questions. So I mentioned that this is the new Travado uh, 59G. This floor plan has one of the best wet baths I've ever seen and I've done this for 30 years. So normally the wet baths are so small, you're showering like this. You know, this one's got enough room you can actually stand up and move around. It's got enough room to actually use the toilet comfortably. I think you're really gonna like it. So we're gonna take a look at that. But before we do that, I just want you to listen. Do you hear anything? You probably can't hear anything. This has the new Onan 2.8 quiet generator. This is a way, way better generator than what used to be the 2.8. Much, much quieter. It's an inverter style generator. So right now it's running the air conditioner on this unit and I doubt my microphone will even pick it up. I probably have to go back down and kneel next to it for you to hear it. Such a huge improvement. Um, so the, the Travato is available with a generator or with the lithium battery package. In the past, I almost always wanted to go lithium batteries because the generator was so noisy, I didn't think it was very practical. Now, it's a legitimate option because it's quiet enough that you can have it running and it's not disturbing you, it's not disturbing the neighbors, it's really a great feature. So we're gonna look at that again, but I just think it's great. Another big thing you'll see behind me, the awning on this is huge. Uh, I always felt like the B-Van awnings used to be really small. This one is great, you don't have arms put down, comes out and gives you plenty of space. Uh, unlike the little brother Solus that we sell that does not come with an awning, the Travato still does. So let's look at some more features on there. I wanna show you the ladder and just make sure you've seen it. You might've seen a Travato video before, but man, it's never too late to go back and look at one of these great Travados. Come take a look. Hey, just a couple of things underneath this awesome awning. One, it's really kind of a neat feature, but they put these little hooks on either end of the running boards. And if you don't know, those are so you can hook your dog. Now, God forbid, don't ever do a Christmas vacation thing. You know what the penalty for animal cruelty is in this state. No, sir, I don't. Well, it's probably pretty stiff. But it gives you a great place to be able to tie your dog off without having to worry about wherever you are. So you have one on either end of the vehicle, really nice little feature. Zamp Solar, so it's got a solar panel on the roof. If you have the expansion pack, you can plug it in here for more solar input. Uh, a hookup for your outside cable input, so if you want your TV antenna to be broadcast out here and put a TV out here for the over the antenna, you can. And 110 plugs as well. All that just underneath the awning. So this really is an art. It's not just for traveling. A lot of B vans seem to be made more to travel. This one is really a great vehicle for camping. Uh, lots of room out here to set up, whether you're tailgating or just enjoying the weather. Show you the back. It's, this one does have the options for the bike rack and the ladder. Let's take a look. So back here on the bike rack, we've got it down right now. Two bikes go. These little panels slide out. So you can put a bike, fit it across, holding the wheels on either place. Uh, and these little handles flip up to hold two bikes. If you don't need it, this simply flips up here, locks in, and these little clips come across to lock in here and here. So if you don't need it, it's out of the way, but it's there for you if you do need it. Now the ladder right here is great. We have access from the rear of the vehicle, but this has the full luggage carrier all the way around it. So it does give you the option of releasing the bolt here. And once this is off, we can simply take this ladder, lift it up, and then we can go take it onto the side, and I'll show you how it works on the side, as well as show you what's up on the roof. Let's go take a look. So again, I mentioned earlier about the generator. Well, I'm standing right now by it here, and you're not even noticing the generator sound probably, which is just great. The fact that I'm this close to it and can still talk is just awesome. So this sits up here, it fits on the rack up top. Uh, it's great. So once the ladder's on, I've got my max air, my big solar panel, I've got my air conditioner, all the hookups up here, so really easy to get to. And you can move this ladder any way around the vehicle so that you can hook up, uh, if you want to put a kayak carrier or a different kind of luggage rack or anything like that up top, you can move this ladder anywhere you need to. Or if you need to maintenance something, service something while you're on the road, it gives you that extra ability to do that. So great feature here. You can also see the exhaust for the Truma on-demand water heater and then your electric plug as well. So uh, wonderful little package, easy to do. Sewer hose stores below, great package. I'm gonna put this back on the back and then we'll look at the front of the vehicle and take a look inside. As we go in here, I wanna point out something I think you're really gonna like. 
Uh, this has the screen room down now, which gives you uh, mosquito protection and everything else. But instead of having to unzip like you used to, there's magnets built in. You just got to walk right in. When you let go, it just drops down and locks in place. Great idea. You can also see right here, they give you a tower with USB connections and 110 connections. So always extra space and plugs, always a good thing to have. Let's go inside and we'll look at the front of the vehicle. So here we are in the front of the Ram ProMaster gas chassis that the Toronto is built on. Uh, great chassis, great little driving vehicle, really drives around like a van, very easy to get around in. Um, a lot of people actually use this as a second vehicle and not even have another car. This is their, their regular everyday driver. Uh, it's a great feature. I do have the panels in here right now so that we're not so washed out with the, the light coming in the front windshield. Just to clarify, you do not drive with these on there. That would be kind of uh, scary and difficult. So. The panels are here doing that, but I do want to show you this backup camera. This is something we're going to make us start doing. I love it. So your rear view mirror, when you turn it on, there's a camera on the back of the vehicle that gives you the full view of this great uh, backup camera. Now, right, we're backed up against our building, so you're not really seeing much. But the cool part is when you're traveling, it's a wide enough angle. You can actually see a little bit into the lanes next to you, which really helps when you're trying to merge and get in front of somebody in traffic. So I find that camera and the, the big, built into the mirror a really, really big benefit. Um, very comfortable. You've got steering wheel controls for your phone and uh, volume and all that kind of stuff. And the Bluetooth activated uh, talking to your phone, Siri. Um, hook up for the your phone to plug in as well 12 volt plugs the seats do swivel uh and but they won't let me swivel with the engine running because they start driving you crazy with this beeping alarm so that you don't turn around while you're going down the road but i do love these two seats the arms are also adjustable that's not like a huge thing but when you're trying to get comfortable with that it really does make it nice to be able to have that arm adjusted now as we turn this around one thing you'll see is right behind us is the extra two seats in the travado so it does give you four uh, seating capacity, but it also sets up a great dinette where you can have people sitting across from each other or you can use it as a workstation. So we'll take a look at that now. So I've turned the front seat around and I'm sitting here. This table is awesome. I mean, it can be pulled toward you. Uh, it's sitting up right now and it's a little bit high. So one of the neat things they've done, it's on this aluminum track system, which allows you simply just to loosen it up. Once I loosen it up, I can pull this around and then adjust it up or down wherever I want it to and then tighten it back up. So a real neat feature there that allows you to uh, get this to exactly the height you want. The other cool part is this table can be moved to the other side and when you have your door open and the weather's nice, it actually can extend out into your patio area and give you a table that's sitting right inside and outside the door, a great place to put food or snacks or anything like that. But this one's great because it can swing to me, I can use it as a workstation, or either of the two people traveling in the back two seats can have this sitting down there and have a workstation or a place to eat while they're going down the road. And then when you don't need it, it simply stores on the right by the entry when it comes in. I'll show you that in the in the B-roll on it. it makes it really easy. We do also in this coach have the acrylic insulated windows. These are a great feature. It helps keep the vehicle cool, which down here in the heat is a big deal. Uh, they do swivel out, so these three little things flip up, and then the window will swivel out. Uh, now down here again, you might be thinking, what about mosquitoes? Well, they have a built-in screen, so you can still see through it, or at nighttime you can close it out for a shade and there's just a magnet between them that holds them. So really great design there. And then for these, you just lift it out and I like to close it back in and then your arms will lock down and you're back to being secure where you are. So great uh, window adjustment. I, I really like that acrylic window pane. Same windows on the driver's side as well, actually a little larger on the passenger side than the driver's side. That's the whole door and it opens up. So it gives you that visibility. So really neat feature. The chairs in this Travato are really actually pretty comfortable considering it's such a small space. New latches open up and they're positive latch. So they actually do clip close so you don't have to worry about it coming. Plenty of lights in here and also these can, little connectors so you can hang um, cell phone hooks or iPad hooks or something if you want to watch TV going down the road. And the TV's right here, so you can set that up as well. So a lot of great features. Really love how user-friendly it is. Okay, before I get back to the back, I do want to show you a couple of neat features. One is you release the TV here. It does turn around and gives you ability to be watching it from the bedroom, or you can watch it outside if you're tailgating. 
um, or want to have it just on a nice afternoon when you're sitting outside under the awning. Up top here are all your controls. So you have your power control system, uh, which is allowing the air conditioner to run off the power system and monitoring it. Your one place control, which is your generator start, stop, your tank levels, your batteries, your water pump, your Truma control, and your inverter switch here. So all of these controls are located right here. LP valve, since it's a remote tank, has an LP valve shutoff. Now, I mentioned the storage on this. Your table that comes across here, this is gonna fit here and slide down. And once it slides down, it will lock in place. Now then your table can then be mounted to this and stick outside the door or be used over here as an extra serving area. Or when you're not needing your table for the moment, it will simply fit right inside this track and sit down there and then it's out of the way and stored somewhere. So nice easy place to get it out of the way. You don't have to worry about extra storage. Uh, a little flip up countertop here for the table extension gives you a lot of extra counter room. A little bit of storage under the seats, another storage under the foot pedal. Again, everywhere there is a place Winnebago is putting storage. One of the big differences you see in the quality of the manufacturers is those little bit of extra spaces they make for you. It makes the difference between being able to, to get all of your stuff in a B and feeling really frustrated. So that's one of the benefits Winnebago gives is if there's an extra space, they're going to spend the money to go ahead and make it into a storage compartment, not just leave it as hollow space. So definitely a benefit of doing business with Winnebago. Okay, I'm about to show you the shower, but one thing I want to point out before this eco mode on the water heater, it allows you to flip it, turn your water heater on, and it circulates water through your hot water system. So it go ahead, goes ahead and gets your water hot. There's normally a little bit of a lag on the Truma just from when you turn it on for the instant hot or the constant hot water to know it needs to kick on and you end up using cold water. Well, in a B-band with such small capacity of tanks, you don't want to waste any water. So this allows me to flip it, preheat the water so that when I turn on my faucet, I got hot water right then and I don't waste any of that precious water, which is great when you're dry camping uh, and also with your capacities on your tanks. But as I was mentioning, this shower, you can see how far back it goes. Uh, again, I'm six feet tall. I can stand up in here. I've got tons of room to be able to move. I've got plenty of room on the, on the toilet to sit down with enough elbow room to take care of business. It's just a really great space, a lot bigger than what you're normally getting. Nice little grate on the floor to kind of allow you to, uh, for water to drain uh, and you're standing on a wood surface there. So really great space. Uh, when you're not using it, it does close across. Uh, or if you're using it for privacy as well, I guess, say it closes across to give you a nice private shower and then does have a clip so that when you're going down the road, it's not going to be banging back and forth. So great space there. Now on the other side is your bed. Uh, the bed, this little arm flips down so I can release this latch and I can flip this down. And then uh, if I get out of the way first, uh, this will flip down. Now, if you notice back there, there was plenty of storage uh, along the things for shoes and other things like that. But then this mattress flips down and I've got a very nice sized bed. Uh, really comfortable, easy again. It's a comfortable mattress as well. Um, and just gives you a great thing. If you notice when I was doing it, on this part, on the bottom of this, as I get this up, we have over here these black bars. The black bars open up when your rear door opens, it allows you to hang a curtain and give you an extra space outside, whether it's a, an area to change clothes if you're at the beach, shower outside if you don't want to worry about holding water capacity in here. So a really nice benefit to that as well. And again, plenty of storage on the Travada and any B-Van, anywhere there's extra space, we want to put storage. Uh, these latches on all the drawers are also that new positive latch that locks when it's closed, so it does really well. Refrigerator is 12 volt compressor, so a cooler operating refrigerator, it cools down faster. 12 volt DC compressor, so you get better operation for it. Uh, and we've got a great pantry space over here as well. Uh, so you have plenty of room there on the pantry. So overall, just a really great design. I love the space in it. I love the ability. Um, I think you might really enjoy traveling in it. And if you have any questions, give us a call. Our number 225-275-2940. Again, comment below. We'll be glad to get back to you or send an email to sales at millersrv.com. Again, this is Jeff Hilliard at Miller's RV reminding you, enjoy the journey. Hey, thank you so much for watching our video. We hope that you found it both informative and entertaining. If you would, like this video and also subscribe to our channel so you can see everything new that's coming out as well. If you have any questions or comments, please list them below. Also tell us anything else you would like us to do a video on. Again, this is Jeff at Miller's RV. Enjoy the journey and click on one of the links to watch another video by us.